Hello, One Way Youth. For those of you that don't know me, my name is David Habiak. Um, and so, like Andre said, I was kind of pressured into this. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I have been given this opportunity to share a quick word and to share a quick word. Um, and while, uh, while preparing for this, um, I couldn't figure out anything. I couldn't come up with any, any ideas. I couldn't come up with um, anything to say. Like, it's like my mind was completely blank. And then over, like, over time, as, I, as this can kept on going and going, and as I kept on trying to do it by, by my own, I couldn't. And I started feeling weaker. And I started getting, I started getting discouraged. And eventually, I just, I just sat down in my room and then I prayed to God, I called out to him, and then bam, he gives me a revelation. I can't do, that. I can't do this on, on my own. I have, to, I have to be dependent and reliant on him. The revelation I received is that Jesus is our strength. After having that revealed to me, it basically hit me like a truck. <laughs> like, this is exactly what I needed to hear, and, and and he just gave me my topic. I was inspired. I realized that I really needed to rely on God because over a long time I've been doing I've been doing things all on my own, and I've and I've been pretty much basically like walking away from God, and. And it, it, it's it's not it's not good, and like then like th and things will get bad. And once you just call out to God, and once you just and once you like just put that effort in, and step out in faith and call and call out to God, He will always come through. He's gonna come. He's gonna answer your prayer. He's gonna help you because He loves you. He cares for you, and He wants to help you. So in the book of Judges, we read about Samson. And Samson was this man chosen by God from birth. He was given this, and he was given this amazing strength. And even when, even when, like, when he was given the strength, he was, he was, he was doing things on his own. He decided to, he decided to, do, to do things by, and by himself. He wasn't relying on God. And then where did that get him? That got him bald, in chains, humiliated, and then dead eventually. Before he died, he was in the jail cell. And in the jail cell, he was at, a, he was at his worst point, his weakest point, and then eventually he, he called out to God. He called out to God and God gave him his strength back one last time. And for that, and for that last time, we know he, can, he, he tore down the, the, the whole temple. And for me, like Samson, when I, when I, when I, like, just like I said earlier, I, I was preparing for this and I was doing it on my own and I couldn't do it. But then I called out to God, and He helped me. Even in school, like this has been happening to me. Like, I've been trying to do everything on my um, by, by myself. Where did that get me? Procrastinating, late night sleeps, um, tired at school. But then, but, like, like even on even one day, and then, like I was just so like loaded down with homework and everything, and then I just, I just. I prayed to God, and like and like I needed to I needed to like force myself to like to really just get everything done, and I knew that I couldn't do it alone, and that I would need God's help. So I prayed, and then I started getting things done. I started getting I started my grades started getting better. I started um I started I started getting get um acing like tests. And everything was just going well. And then the Bible also talks about Paul. He, he was a man then that was, that was walking with God. And then 
during that time, he was constantly being persecuted. And at one point, when, when, he, was, when he was thrown into jail, um, he started singing. And because of that, the earthquake, the earthquake happened. It shook all the cells, and he escaped, and he escaped jail. And in, in 2 Corinthians 12, 10, Paul, you know, Paul, Paul writes about, about how he is rejoicing in his strength because of God. You know, he's, re he's rejoicing in his weakness because God is his strength. <laughs> uh, my bad. <laughs> we really need to rely on the Lord because he is the reason why, why, we're able to, and why we're able to do everything that we do. He's the reason why we wake up. Why, and he's the reason why we have places to sleep, why we have a place to gather in like here. He's the reason why, why we're all still here today. So we need to rely on him to help us to keep going. Because if we, if we like time and time again, just keeps on showing, if, we, if we're just doing it by, by, by our own, if we're, just gonna, if we're just gonna be like, no, I can do it by myself. I don't need God. It's, it's not gonna go well. It's just gonna end up failing, whatever you wanna do. And that's why we just, you know, we just really need to be dependent on God because he loves us, he cares about us, he wants to help us, and he's always there for us. And he even created us to worship him, to praise him, and to rely on him. Thank you.